So why do we do it? Why do we continue to eat food that makes us feel bad? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Blair. So I thought I would just do a little sit down video with you guys today. So if you guys watch my grocery hauls, then you know that I started the carnivore diet a while ago. I did it for about a month. And then I decided to have some cheat days around my daughter's birthday, which was Halloween. And then I kind of went back on the diet for a couple days and then I just stopped. But today <laughs> I am starting the carnivore diet again and I'm going to tell you why. So if you guys are not new here, then you know that I lived in a house that had mold for two years. But actually my husband and I were talking and we kind of suspect that the house before that had mold also because that is kind of when my youngest daughter and I started to feel more sick. So we probably lived in a house that had mold for more like three years, but definitely two because our last house was ridiculous. Anyway, so I am still trying to detox from all of that. Um, I am getting better, but when you've lived in a house that had mold for long periods of time, it takes longer for your body to get better. Some people can um, detox from mold easier than others, which is why a lot of people don't know that their house has mold when it does, because some people might be okay, but then other people might be really sick. So because the other people are fine, they might not suspect mold in the house. So my youngest daughter and I were the ones who suffered the most, but towards the end, my husband had started to feel the symptoms also. So ever since we moved into our new home, I've been doing different things. Um, on TikTok though, the carnivore diet kept coming up on my For You page. So I was like really intrigued. I'm like, what is this? At first I was like, this is kind of crazy because I see people eating sticks of butter and I'm like, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way that eating butter and eating steak all the time can be more healthy for you than eating a nice big salad, which is what I used to do like every day. But I started researching more because I was just really curious. Steak is honestly one of my favorite foods, but you know, you're always told to stay away from red meat, stay away from fat, don't eat fat. Eating fat makes you fat, but no, it doesn't. So I used to eat a salad every day but I have always had like some stomach issues. I would always feel bloated, which no one likes that feeling. So um, I did read that it has helped people lose weight. It's helped with inflammation, which is really the reason that I wanted to start this diet. Just because from living in mold, I have had so much inflammation in my body. So I told my husband that I wanted to try it and he decided to try it with me. So we did it for about a month and when I stopped doing it because I had some cheat days, he stopped doing it too. So we noticed that when we did start the carnivore diet, um, it was kind of weird at first. Like my husband was always in the, the low fat mindset. He would buy low fat everything, lean meats, low fat yogurt, low fat, whatever. So I'm like, babe, <laughs> like this is a high fat diet. So he was kind of getting used to that. Um, and I've always loved the fattier cuts of steak. So ribeye has always been my favorite and that is like perfect for this carnivore diet. So we were both feeling amazing on this diet. We both had more energy. Our anxiety levels went way down. I had no pain in my body, um, no bloating at all, like no stomach issues at all. And by the way, everyone thinks that you need fiber. You don't. When you eat enough fat on this diet, it's good. It's all that you need. You don't need fiber at all. So while I did feel amazing, there were some things that I struggled with just because I am a big foodie. I just love food in general. I love going out to new restaurants. I love trying new food. So, um, like a lot of people were saying, oh, I love how simple this diet is. It's so simple, blah, 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 and I love it. Okay, that's like something I don't like about it. <laughs> like I like variety, so I kind of struggle with that. Like I get bored 
So eating the same things like over and over again, I'm like, I don't like it. I love food, I love all kinds of food. So that's been my main struggle with this, even though I do feel really good on this diet, I just kind of get bored. And that's when I wanna have like some cheat days just to have some fun in my life. So I am doing something different this time. So before when I was doing the carnivore diet, I just was having meat, eggs, butter. I did have avocado sometimes. Um, so, but I did crave blueberries, apples, and watermelon every day. So I don't know if that's my body like saying like, hey, like I need something. I need something from these fruits. I don't know. But um, I am going to allow myself to eat some fruit when I want it. Um, so not vegetables really. Um, the only other thing I was going to add is avocado because healthy fats and mushrooms because I love mushrooms and mushrooms are really good for you. So um, I'm gonna allow myself to have mushrooms, avocados and blueberries, apples and watermelon but only on the days when I feel like I really want some fruit. But also, um, once in a while, not like every week or anything, but I am going to allow myself some cheat days just because, again, I'm a foodie, so <laughs> I need to have some fun. I don't want to deprive myself of all the good foods. So I am officially starting today, and then we're going to have a cheat day on Thanksgiving. <laughs> obviously. I love my husband's mashed potatoes and green bean casserole. So good. And then we're gonna go back on it. But then we're gonna have another cheat day around Christmas time, like Christmas Eve and Christmas. You know, because you just gotta, you gotta live a little bit. But the majority of my diet is going to be animal-based, just because once I had um, my cheat days and I have totally fell off of the diet, I was eating my kids Halloween candy and eating all the bad foods. My joints have been hurting. Like I've been in so much pain. So that means the inflammation is back in my body and I don't like it. I've had no energy. My husband said the same thing. His body's hurting and he has no energy. And our anxiety levels have been horrible. Oh, also this, I've had this weird rash here i don't know if it's eczema but it's super dry super red and itchy so right before i stopped the carnivore diet so after being on it for almost a month this was clearing up and getting way smaller and right when i went off of it it came back and it was super red and super itchy again being on the carnivore diet helps with so many things. It's helped people lose weight, helps with inflammation, it helps with skin issues, which is one big reason I wanted to start this. I want, I don't like how my skin is looking lately and I want to get rid of this. My husband is doing it to lose weight and he was doing such a good job. But like I said, it's going to be mostly animal based, but I am going to allow myself some fruit when I feel like I need it. I'm going to allow myself to have avocado and mushrooms and obviously some cheat days. Like when my husband and I finally get a date night together and we want to go have sushi, I'm going to go have sushi. <laughs> I'm not going to go to a restaurant just to have steak like when I can eat that anytime at home. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm excited to start again and start feeling better again. So since I am starting my diet today and talking to you guys about it, I thought it would be fun to try the carnivore bar with you guys. So they sent me four of these. Um, I tried the garlic one, which was okay, but I'm really excited to try this one. It's honey salted. So my husband and I divided them up. Um, he got two and I got two. So. I'm going to try this one with you guys. So the ingredients are so clean. These are kind of expensive, but I was excited that they sent me some to try. So the only ingredients it has is grass finished beef, grass finished tallow, raw honey, and Redmond real salt. And that's it. So this is like a meal replacement bar. 
It's kind of like a steak blended into bar form. So we're going to try it. Oops, I just broke it. Broke it on accident. So anyways, that's what it looks like. So I actually think I like this one better than the garlic one. I can definitely taste the honey. It adds a little bit of a sweetness. Now oh, that's another thing I'm going to be adding in my diet, by the way, is raw honey. Yeah, I didn't do that before, but I'm definitely adding it this time. Yeah, so I don't know. This texture is like so crazy to me. It's like smooth and buttery, um, but it also has like a crunchy texture. So they say like you can put it in the refrigerator if you want it to be more crunchy, which I think would be good. Um, I've heard someone say that they put it in the freezer too to be like extra crunchy. So I haven't tried that. Now, honestly, coming from a foodie point of view, I don't think that you buy those like for the taste or anything. You pretty much buy them because, I mean, they don't taste bad, but <laughs> I think you just buy it for the ingredients and it's perfect for on the go when you're on the carnivore diet. Yeah, and it does what it's supposed to do. It has clean ingredients that's going to keep you nice and full and it's good for your body. You don't buy it for how it tastes or anything. It just does what it's meant to do. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be starting the carnivore diet. I've started today. I took some steak out of my freezer. I'm excited. I'm gonna try to save my cheat days for like really good things that I really love like sushi or like I said like Thanksgiving dinner um Christmas dinner here Christmas Eve at my mom's house stuff like that like where we're actually gonna have like really good food I hope you guys stick around and subscribe if you want to follow me on my carnivore diet journey I'll be giving you guys updates once in a while thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye